Hello and welcome to Dimsy's Domain and this is a Yu-Gi-Oh! 6 video where we focus on the character design for the new protagonist that's been revealed who is called Yusaku Fujiki and that is quite an amazing name. Why is that an amazing name? Because if you check out the video with myself and Biwaji Aigami where we broke down the character aspect from the plot point as well as his name in his video which is linked down below and he happens to also be the guest in this video. Would you want to say a little hi to everyone? Hello everyone and thanks for having me Dimsy and check out our Facebook fan page as well we'll be doing updates on everything Yogo 6 related and you know what you need to follow that Facebook page because we have not only news updates but we also have high quality video clips which are posted on that Facebook page which will which will very much interest you and I promise you that Let's talk about how this fella looks. We have to focus on initially, we know that he's a school kid. He's 16 years old and he's a high school student. And this is very evident from his attire. His attire being the bland, the navy as well as the light blue trimmings of his suit. And then you can also see an indigo blue tie and a white shirt. So he is very much a school student. How much of a school student is Yugo going to play upon this? Well, what I mean by that is that in GX, we had these academies and they were all fighting against each other they have their own little rankings amongst them but at the end of the day the attire the uniform was somewhat flamboyant it was not so formal it was kind of casual in that sense yes we've seen ties before with Yuzu in Yu-Gi-Oh arc V he wore a tie but that wasn't to be formal but now we see him in his high school attire so Aigami what do you reckon do you reckon that they're going to be in a very in a very formal school setting or are they going to be in a casual you know out there school I feel like this is going to be based around a school like if you look at his design Yusaku is a very he looks like a very preppy boy like he comes from a wealthy family yeah I think I think that does show wealth but do you reckon that the school he goes to is like you know how we see in the real world or in anime which focus on school where it's just actual high school life which may incorporate a bit of dueling or is it going to be a dual academy or a dual school where yes I know the focus should be on dueling but the fact that it really doesn't reflect school life that we see in real life accurately because I do think as we spoke about in your video that it does seem from his name from the plot which I might briefly touch on that it's going to show a more accurate representation of real life in terms of a student with school a student trying to find his identity find his place in the world I think that it's going to incorporate probably both because the thing with GX is that they did it more about the dual school the, the whole dueling schooling aspect of it but they didn't incorporate that slice of life of like Jaden trying to study and stuff. Yeah. So if they were to, because the thing is they can use all the other series as blueprints. Like I'm pretty sure Arc V does that as well. They sort of have like a GX school. But the thing is if they, in 5Ds did that as well. But they didn't have that focusing on school and education. So if they were to incorporate both of that, both of those things, it would just be overall the better product. And let's go and move on to his age because we know that he's 16 years old and therefore he, we can assume that he's of a height of, I'm going to assume, estimate here. So please make sure to correct me or comment down below if you watch this a few months later. Actually, and tell me your estimates. How tall do you reckon he's going to be? Because we know that Yugi was around 5 foot 5 ish and I believe Yuma was around 5 foot 3. Yusei was around the 5 foot 9 mark. But I believe that this guy's going to be around 5 foot 7 or 5 foot 8. So that's one uh, thing to I look think, at. I think this dude's gonna be short just because like if you look at the PNGs that they showed us, yeah, you can see the cropping and he sure looks already short. Yeah. So I'm gonna guess like probably five foot six, five foot seven. But the ideal height for me would be five foot nine. I don't want this actually not five foot nine, five foot seven. No, but, you no, but let's talk about Japanese standards because short would be something similar to five foot four or maybe five five. Actually to being to, uh, five foot seven is kind of regarded as on the upper echelon of being tall or average. You know what I'm saying? So I yeah. believe if he's gonna be short, he's gonna be around five foot five. But if we're gonna talk about his face, let's talk about his face. He got green eyes and navy blue, blue and pinkish hair. And then so a that is in his hair. with a thunder. So that is a unique color scheme and quite a few colors right there. What do you take from that? Because I believe that it's a mixture of serenity in the blue and how he's calm with himself, but at the same time he has a flair to him with the thunder ball and the fiery nature but he doesn't know because he's hidden amongst that calm the calm blue the calm reserved character that we've been introduced to because we know that he's just a not a shy timid boy but he's a guy that he's the average joe he's not mr popular but i don't think he's also the bullied guy he is the guy that just gets by he's the grifter 
in that sense. So I think that his hair, what that denotes is that he has a lot of flair to him and he has a lot of he has a lot of ability, but he just hasn't discovered it and he just needs that one spark, which is also represented by the thunderbolt on the front fringe on his hair. But his blue shows him being very calm and he just knows himself very well. He knows himself that he doesn't have the most self-confidence in that sense, but at the same time, if he if he emulates the fire the fiery nature inside him, similar to GX in terms of Jaden, similar to Yuma Sukumo, who was a ball of fire, and heck, even Yuya, who was a showman, if he were to emulate that, he can he can show the charisma that he may have, but it's hidden amongst that calm, shy, hey, I just want to get by underachiever esque character that we've been introduced to from from the plot i agree i think his hair is going to show a lot of detail now every character has like their one thing their one thing that really when they get mad they change what do you gonna be? and i really do think that his hair is probably gonna do something not like zexel where it's just pure out super saiyan but <laughs> something <laughs> something's gonna do something's gonna happen where his hair like once he gets mad or once he gets serious something happens to his hair do you reckon that the thunderbolt is gonna start glowing or the the, t- <laughs> the two little the two little <laughs> spikes of do you reckon that's gonna either become um, glowy or it's gonna choose another <laughs> color stands or up or something it's that essentially like super saiyan isn't it another super saiyan ripoff right there but let's talk about the eyes yeah because that i can't like the eyes are just the th- his eyes are so detailed like they have like that they, they have that one pointy thing coming out on the top and then on the bottom it's like a little swift thing it sort of reminds me of a tim's eyes and then his eyebrows are very detailed as well but the eye color is a very good choice I think we've never seen a character that has like proper green eyes. It's interesting because of the fact that you'd think to yourself, okay, green is supposed to be a color that complements red and you know the the reddish colors, but having a green eye color is it shows a very deep understanding because what it speaks to me is that having an emerald green color is something where you could get lost into. That's why people say, oh, if you have hazel eyes, you could just look into the eyes and it speaks personally and if and there's a lot of flair inside them. So I think that he's yet to discover himself or people are yet to discover him and his eyes are the first thing they look at and they can really relate to and just look into his eyes and know that there's so much more to his character but one thing regarding the eyelashes and the eyebrows is that it's kind of slanted it shows a very a more serious look to him but at the same time it doesn't look like he's angry or he is filled with rage it seems like he knows when to do things for me he gives off a very you say vibe in the sense that he's a cool character or he's he just knows how to behave and act he seems more mature what do you reckon now the thing with the eyes is that in japan the color green means growth which sort of relates back to his name journey to a wiser tree it's the it's the meaning of energy of growth representing eternity so i feel like they're they're trying to like really hit the nail in the sense of the characters trying to go even the gimmick of the show is basically yeah the show's theme is take a step forward and try and that's and we spoke about that in detail on your video and once again make sure to check out his video but let's talk about the color green once more the actual um meaning for his name is journey to a wiser tree tree let's talk about trees what color are the leaves for trees green isn't it so it may show that his innately isake more he's he's very intact with himself as i said in the other video how trees are pillars of this world how they can also not only can they shelter life but they can also be the be responsible for encouraging life by oxygen and co2 exchange in that sense but the point is oh, that's me looking a bit too much into it with science i love science but the point is him having green eyes shows that his his nature is that he just gets by but at the same time he's pure hearted i think he is that is a good representation of his pure heartedness a sense that whatever you see on the outside is him right there but he's shrouded with a sense of from his own lack of confidence and we just need to dig it out of him can you imagine how this character is going to be by the end i i am going to predict right now that the character we have and this is baseless prediction i'm just predicting for the sake of predicting but i think by the end of the series this character is going to be one of the most loved characters in all of Yu-Gi-Oh in terms of the protagonist because already he's not he hasn't really um, given me any alarm bells in the sense of when I saw Yuma oh that this guy looks so so young he was only what 13 years 13 old and he was like that? yeah and he was chubby and just the sake of him not looking that serious and he just did not give off that intimidating factor whereas when I saw Yuya I'm like yeah yeah we like, we've improved he looks more he looks more serious and he looks he, he has better character design but he looks so damn thin he looks so young so young 
young. The fan base actually thought Yuma, Yuya was a girl at first. See, that speaks volume. And when we when you compare those two characters to, let's say, Yugi, well, you can't really compare to Yugi. Compared to Atem, just the design of Atem, just the design of Jaden. I made a video, link in the description down below, about is Jaden's character design bad? Is it boring? Is it bland? And I want to instigate conversation regarding that topic. But here, look, is Yusaku Fujiki's character design bland? Please make sure to comment and discuss in the down below because I want to know your thoughts from what we see right now just from the visual aspect of things does he look bland will you watch a show with him or are they trying to do a bit too much with the with the two little spikes on the side of his head is it a wise move with the thunderbolt is that going to add another aspect or dynamic to his character where you're thinking hey that looks quite cool you know I want to know do you think it looks cool or do you think it's boring and maybe it's a bit cliche and in a sense it's going to be a disappointment by the end I think out of all the character designs he's so diverse he has green eyes like a, a indigo type hair color and then it's like light blue dark blue and then his costume just fits his hair so i this character is very diverse and, and one one thing they didn't really include which i'm kind of surprised actually because i thought they would do knowing the general direction and the audience that arc, arc 5 as well as Yu-Gi-Oh zexal were aiming at is the fact that I thought he was going to have at least goggles or even glasses. It would have been actually interesting to have him wear glasses, but that's that's a discussion for another time. Anyway, guys, I'm sure we've hit every single nail, every single possible nail, nail regarding his character design and maybe we've overanalyzed it, but heck, that's what we're here to do. What do you reckon? What are your thoughts regarding his character design? Make sure you subscribe to BYJ Aigami. Make sure you follow the Facebook fan, fan page and all the other videos that we've done regarding Yu-Gi-Oh! The six. Heck, check out the other videos which are not even part of the 6th series, you may now exit Dimsy's domain. Thank you and goodbye.